TikTok is the force behind some of the biggest beauty trends right now, but just because they go viral does not mean you should try this at home. That's <laughs> right. So we invited board-certified plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yoon to break down the do's and don'ts of skincare fads all found on social media. Welcome, Dr. Yoon. Thank you so much for having me. We're happy you're here. I know my youngest daughter is really big on going, Mom, you got to try this, and uh. she's seen it on TikTok. And yes, there is some good information out there, but what is the rule of thumb when it comes to looking at these types of, hey, you should try this, and what actually could be harmful? Yeah, the big thing is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, <laughs> and you want to see who's giving that information out. If that person has a medical background, if you're talking about skincare, if that person's an esthetician, then you know you can probably take that information and assume that it's true. But there's so yeah. many people who are spreading misinformation, saying that, geez, if you put, if you have a tattoo and you rub it with some salt, it'll go away. Uh, no, it's just not true. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on with this tattoo. Uh, okay, you said if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So is this too good to be true? Using face tape to cure wrinkles. What's the claim? We're talking yeah, about? so this was a viral video of somebody who put tape over their forehead and said after seven days, the wrinkles went away. Seven days. After seven days. Now, if this was true, then why are we doing Botox? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I said that in the break. <laughs> <laughs> so the truth is, is that tape can actually help you reduce the wrinkles of your forehead, but okay. not because it does it itself, but because it's a reminder not to lift those eyebrows um. to create those lines. So the forehead wrinkles are dynamic wrinkles. They create those are lines are created by muscles, and if you can train those muscles not to flex, oh. you can then smooth the forehead wrinkles. That actually All right, perfect. that does make sense. And there are other tapes like this oh, one yes. too that are used to actually lift the face as well. So you'll see this on TikTok where people use this as an instant lift of the face. It's an old Hollywood secret still being used today. Wow. It works, but it's just temporary, not permanent. And you got to hide those tapes. You don't want people to see them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, hemorrhoid cream for puffy eyes. Does it work? So talk about old Hollywood secrets. So this was a Hollywood red carpet secret that if you apply hemorrhoid cream under your eyes, it can reduce the puffiness. And this video that you're watching, she said that the skin of the eyelids is the same as the skin of your bottom. And if you think about it, that is just so not true. <laughs> the lower eyelid skin is some of the thinnest skin of the whole body. It has nothing to do with the skin down there. Now the truth is though, that hemorrhoid cream Please acts. Stop. It's a serious <laughs> medical discussion. It, it acts as vasoconstrictor, so it can constrict blood vessels. That's why it improves hemorrhoids. If you apply it under your eyes, it might improve the under eye puffiness a little bit, but much better to use a cream that has caffeine in it hmm. that's made specifically for your eyelids. Hemorrhoid cream made for a different type of skin. <laughs> Eyelid cream made for the sense of skin under the eyes, add caffeine, and it can actually tighten that skin up. You were saying before we came out, this is, has been used for a long time in Hollywood. It is a red carpet secret that wow. has been used for decades. All right, then. But don't All do right. it. All right, let's get <laughs> to the next it. one here. Why would I need to put dandruff shampoo on my face, Doc? So there was a viral video of a person who stated that if you wash your face with dandruff shampoo, it can get rid of acne. And there actually is some truth to this. If you have fungal acne, it can help improve it. So the active ingredient in, in this type of dandruff shampoo is zinc pyrithione, and this is an antifungal. The problem is, is that not all acne is fungal, okay? There are a lot of other causes of acne. And so instead of washing your face with a dandruff shampoo, wash your face with a salicylic acid-based facial cleanser. Okay. Salicylic acid will penetrate those deep pores and it can help clear those pores out and help improve acne. Leave this shampoo for your hair well, and your skin. I'm just confused because these aren't expensive products, so why would you switch one for the other? What would be the whole point of that? Well, if you do have fungal acne, then using an oh. antifungal like that can actually work. But there's also fragrances and a lot of other chemicals in these products that are meant for your scalp and your hair, not for your facial skin and especially your eyelids. <laughs> Dr. You, thank you. We need to, <laughs> there are a lot more. We only did a few here, but oh, there's yeah. a lot more out there, so oh, maybe yeah. we'll have you back, all right? <laughs> thank, thank you so much, much, Dr. Thank Yoon. you, Dr. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.